let's go through the US passport size, dimensions and export options in Photoshop in this simple tutorial. So with Photoshop open, let's create a new document. Let's come to File, New, and let's come to Print. We're going to change our units to millimeters and let's set a width of 51 and a height of 51. Now, if you're exporting as PDF, you can switch the color mode to CMYK, but I'm going to export as a JPEG. So I'll leave the resolution 300 pixels to inch and I'll leave the color mode as RGB. So once that's set up, click Create. Make sure your units are set up in the right way. So come to Photoshop Preferences General, come to Units and Rulers, and make sure your rulers are set to millimeters and click OK. From here now, we're going to set up guides for where the eye line should be and also the width and height of the head. So if you come down to your rectangle tool, select it and click anywhere on the canvas. If you're getting it in pixels, just simply right click the width and switch to millimeters. And again, switch the height to millimeters by right clicking. Now the eye line can be anywhere from 28 to 35 millimeters from the bottom up. So I'll set my height to 28. I can always change this later. I can leave the width as it is. Press OK. And now if I use the selection tool, let's just drag this down here, snap it to the bottom. Let's just hold shift. I can drag this out a little more. At any time in the properties panel, I can change, if I select it with selection tool, I can change the width and height here. So if I wanted to go up to 35 mil, I can do that here in the height. And let's grab the opacity in the layers and just bring this down a touch so that we can see the image beneath it. Select off. So there's my eye line. Let's create a second one now. So select this. Hold Alt or Option and then click and drag out a second one. And from here now, this height can be anything from 22 to 35. So let's set this to 35, press Enter, and let's hold Shift, and click and drag this out to the edge here, and the same here. So basically now, if I pull this up, this is where my head needs to fit in, and then this is where my eye line is going to be. So if I press Enter, select the second one and I can click and drag out to rule it down so I can create my eye line here and also to make my life a little easier let's drag another ruler in and get the center point 25.5 so there's my center point there's my eye line and again I can adjust these in here and then I need to fit the head inside this here so with my template set up let's bring in the photo so let's go to file open let's select my photo and my DWD images and then let's click open I'm not going to go through specific instructions to remove backgrounds in this video. I have other videos to do this on my channel, so go check them out. For now, I'm just going to use Photoshop's standard remove background tool. So let's just click this to remove the background. That creates a clipping mask. Let's select this layer, Command or Control C to copy it, come back into my template. Let's select this background layer. So I paste the image above the background layer, but behind the guides, Command or Control V to paste. And if I just zoom out using Command or Control minus, and I'm just going to drag this image in as such. We're gonna try and line this up now with our guides. And once you're happy, press enter. So there we go, our photo's in. Now, if we select the eye line, just click it with the selection tool. And remember, 28 mil is the lowest it can be. So if we switch this to 35, which is the highest, let's just click and drag this up. So it snaps. And then we bring down another ruler here. So if I select off now, you can see this is the lowest the eye line can be, and this is the highest. So the eyes fall within this section, so we shouldn't have any problems at all. The head fits within the section as well. So this all looks good. So if we just toggle off these guides, and then if we go to view, show, and hide the guides, there we go, happy with our passport photo. And from here now, it's time to export. So I'm exporting as a JPEG. So if I go to file, export, export as, I'm gonna set the JPEG quality to the highest it can be, press export, I'm going to save it to my DWD images, and I'm just gonna call this passport photo test, press save. And if I locate DWZ images folder in my finder, there is my exported passport photo ready to be used. So there you have it. It's that simple to set up a US passport photo site document in Photoshop, set the template to get the sizing right in terms of eyeline and height of head, and then export accordingly. I really hope you found that helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing, and I'll see you for the next tutorial.